I cannot explain to you the feeling of like rain on like a bald head. Um, and you know, air grows back. Uh, it's Shira Haas here, Esther Shapiro from Netflix Unorthodox and I can't wait to answer some of your questions that you sent to me to answer uh, for LUK. Let's get it started, right? No. <laughs> I mean, I always believed in the show and in Esther Shapiro and the character and in myself, you know, but I was not uh, expecting that this show, I mean, it was beyond what what I, I will talk in my, my name, I mean, beyond what I expected. There's so much love from really all over the world. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it's gonna happen from the very beginning of everything. I, I knew it before it was even official that I'm gonna do the role, it was like part of it. And I was really ready to do it because I read the script and it was, I mean, there was no question that it's a crucial part of the story. And also I believe that um, if I have something that I want to share, that I want to tell, that I want to be part of, I mean, I'm willing to do a lot in order to tell that story, to tell this important message. And I was very excited to do it. And while doing it, I mean, you know, I had all the emotions, kind of like Esty, right? She's also very happy because she got married and she's excited, but she's also scared and she's kind of like saying goodbye to her childhood and she has all these questions and me as well. I was very excited to do that and happy and it was in the first shooting day, so I was <laughs> even more excited. But I was also stressed and nervous, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It worked well for the character and after that it was amazing i cannot explain to you the feeling of like rain on like a bald head um and you know air grows back of course <laughs> yeah uh we have like a whatsapp group we message each other um also amit and i amit plays yankee we know each other for something like 10 years that's a fun fact and we kind of like we're also neighbors he's a good friend of mine and also of course the rest of the cast and the crew we message each other a lot <laughs> top class she is so amazing she's very very much um aware of her feelings and she's so present and she gets it in and, and i mean it's such a rare ability to have as a human being and in her case it's also kind of like her curse right but i mean i think we're both very very curious uh, and i think also me as a child as a young child i asked so many questions what does that mean why is that why is that why is that my parents like Shh. but for sc of course trying to fit in it's hard to feel different and to ask many questions i could relate to her in so many scenes i think uh Spoiler alert, I think in the audition scene in the last episode, it was probably the scene that I was most stressed and nervous about. It was live and there were so many people and no one knew what will come out of me. I almost felt like ST and I was nervous and my voice was shaky a little bit. It's a story about a woman finding her voice and that scene, she's literally finding it. And I could totally relate to it, of finding your voice through art. I uh, learned the value of freedom. This TV series really like made me question but what freedom is, you know, because we see so many people that are so modern and, li and liberated and we say, wow, they are so free, but that's not necessarily true. It's more about like an inner feeling of freedom. And that was a question that I asked myself a lot. Am I free? Do I have this urge like Essie to be free, to be true to myself? It's kind of like an inner feeling and, and it's mostly about the ability to choose freedom and that's something that Esty taught me to ask because she comes from such a difficult circumstances and she didn't give up and she kept asking that. I arrived to Berlin almost two months before we started shooting uh, in order to be prepared also for uh, some piano lessons and vocal lessons and also, of course, 
Yiddish lessons. I had an amazing teacher, he also plays our rabbi and he's, he was basically also our rabbi, <laughs> for real, uh, Eli Rosen, and we spent really hours together. I wrote it in my language and I recorded him and I recorded myself and I was washing my dishes at home and I listened to Yiddish. I went to sleep with Yiddish and woke up with Yiddish. It was very, very um, important to me to know the language very, very well and to be fluent with my sentences so I can go to set and on action and not even thinking about the language that I didn't know before, but just to be really asty and to be free to change it a little bit, you know, and to act. Oh, I, I loved uh, Netflix, Unbelievable, a very good TV series. And I rewatched uh, The Sopranos, a lot of it. I'm like, I'm like a huge uh, Sopranos fan. Carmela person, I love it. Oh, and I need, I need to see a uh, third season of Killing Eve. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love in general. I can feel it from so many different countries. Gracias, toda, <laughs> in every language.